Hi, I'm Scott Shepard, and I'm the interpretive manager for the Santa Cruz District, and I'm here in Big Basin Redwood State Park, and I'm sitting with Robin Lasser, um, professor with San Jose State University. Robin, would you be willing to introduce yourself? Yes, but I would feel like I'm a tape recorder uh, repeating, <laughs> but yeah, hello, I'm Robin Lasser, and I'm a professor of art at San Jose State University, and really excited by sitting here in this spot this morning and just listening to the water, a little bit of the wind, and Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a lot to enjoy out here in Big Basin today, uh, and we're here to talk about the Big Basin Art About, which is being facilitated by California State Parks Backpacking Adventures here in Big Basin. This is going to be the first camping trip in Big Basin since the CZE fire in 2020, and we're inviting artists of a variety of different mediums to come out and join us and to create art pieces inspired by that experience, inspired by the resources here in the park. Bob, and what really inspires you to be involved in a project like the Big Basin Art About? Well, myself personally, I've spent the last 30 years creating art for public space. So in addition to museum and gallery settings, I feel most connected to making things that you can discover in places that you don't expect to discover art. Mm -hmm. Another is, I've been interested in fire as an artist, as a medium for almost over 30 years. 32 years ago, my neighborhood in Oakland burnt down. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, three decades later, just an hour south of where I teach, the CZU firestorm had a place here in the park. And they shared a common, which is fire, but their resiliency was mm -hmm. really different. And I'm really excited now to be here to think not only about the archaeologies of longing and loss, but also the reimagination of what this place will become culturally in terms of the human interface, and equally important, what this place will become for the future of the plants and these incredible redwoods still standing and all the other little creatures that squirm around in the soil. Yeah. I loved what you said about the archaeology of loss and longing. And I feel like that really cuts to the core of some of the objectives of the Big Basin Art About. I think, you know, if you look back in history to the inception of California State Parks as a land management agency, we worked closely with artists, with scientists, with poets, with authors to encapsulate uh, stories and experiences in public outdoor spaces throughout the state of California and interpret them to the public. And really, that's the role of uh, the interpretation education program is to take these natural resources and provide them to the public in a way that's not only educational but inspiring. And the same is true of the cultural experiences that have occurred in our park and the human history of our parks as well. And this place in particular, that history goes back to time immemorial with the you know, existence of indigenous people in this space utilizing prescribed fire um, and continues through the early, you know, 1900s to get to where we are today. So um, really, you know, excited about the opportunity to have artists come out and work with us as we excavate <laughs> that, that loss and longing here in this place and, and that, you know, interpret that resilience and renewal um, for the future.